Hi everybody. I had a few appointments this morning, but I am coming home now and I'm gonna be going out into the studio to color block that big mountain and do uh, a couple of other things in the studio, so come along. But here's reality. I had an appointment this morning to sell a painting, which is always wonderful at Crown and Press. And I got, you know, I got all dressed up nicely. I got new earrings to go with specifically with this shirt. And then apparently I touched a painting or I did something and I've got red all over myself. And I didn't notice until after the meeting. So hopefully it happened after the meeting. I have no idea when it happened, but that's the way the day started. I also today, uh, just so you know, because a lot of times you guys want to know just what the what I do or what an artist does during the day. Today I had to go buy pillow forms for all the pillows that I sell and uh, bring them to the gallery and stuff some pillows for the display. So I'm gonna provide a link to pillows, books, notebooks. They'll be in the description. You can order online, we ship, uh, we ship free. And uh, you can see that, but I gotta go get changed into something that I don't get more paint on. Welcome into the studio. I had my lunch, I've got a coffee, and now I've got to do my best and worst job. I have to get my palette ready. Today I'm going to use my Magello, M-I-J-E-L-L-O -L uh, palette. This is great because I can seal it. The lid has a rubber um, seal and it clips right on and if I missed it it'll stay wet for days so it's great so I will um, I would like to say that I would methodically put on my uh, paint on this but I'm a little willy-nilly that is just the way I am it will it will get on and then um, within a few minutes I remember where the palette where the paint is on the palette I don't know it's not muscle memory I don't have you know a system for this, but I just fill the palette with all the colors that I want to use and then I go from there. So I'm going to fill this palette and then we're going to get to color blocking this big mountain.
Oh my goodness, guys. I moved the camera so that you could get a closer view of what I was doing in this area. And then apparently I forgot to press play. So here I'm stopping and I'm giving you a really good look at what I did on the bottom. So this really is just color blocking. You can see that I don't have a lot of detail yet. It's, it's basically smooshing and whooshing around the paint, but color blocking in the lights, darks, etc. So let me show you the photo. There's the photo. And you see the lights, the, the bright yellows, the, the goldens in the water, etc. And then how I'm trying to just lay that in here. So we're, uh, the film on camera, it seems quite dark. Um, I'm really loving how it looks in person. Um, I'll focus in now. I'll bring you in and let you see some of the strokes nice up close. So you'll, you'll, you know, if you've watched me, if you haven't like, and subscribe, um, that I mix my paint on the canvas. I don't, I don't mix, um, too many colors on the actual palette. I pick up with my brush a variety of colors and smooshing would be my technique. So you can see all the lines that go into a stroke. And I, again, I um, worked, if you watch from the beginning of the filming, I kind of did the mid range first. I did the trees, the mid range of uh, the trees, the tree line there. I did the rock in the little tree um, after I did that and I started working on building back in to the mountain. So the next section of this, I will be doing the mountain part. So stay tuned for that. That'll be another video. And um, I hope that you enjoyed what you saw so far. I did a little talk over to walk you through and I'll just bring you close again to see how I'm indicating trees. So the trees are just shapes. Just I squint my eyes and I can't get to see the form and it's just shapes. So I hope that was okay for today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be color blocking the rest on another video, the next video. And what you'll see is the filling in of the entire uh, rock wall that comes up here. And then these mountains that are far in the background. And my goal is to get them way back. So we'll see if I succeed at doing that. So like and subscribe. Follow along so that you can see the next one, hit notifications, and have another great day. Do something artsy. Hey, look, I remembered to say it. Do something artsy in your studio or wherever you work today. My tagline is living and working artfully. So it could be in your garden, while you bake, while you cook, um, anything that you find creative, do something artsy today.